I am Tom Pascal, provide representation uh, and support to our resident engaged bisexual, transgender, pansexual, intersex, asexual, uh, queer, Christian, two spirited, and genders. We promote equality in our resident community work environment. Tackling discrimination in the workplace means addressing and tackling discrimination in our communities, communities, and homes. <coughs> what we do is promote the We have safe space, uh, safe space to share our experiences, knowledge, and expertise. We want access to gain in our communities with pride and solidarity. Currently, we have two uh, campaigns that we're, our members uh, are heavily involved in. One of them is Safe Schools, and the other one is County Care. Uh, brought the long term care facilities to the Rock Ontario Human Rights Commission recommendation that health and care social service providers receive. Training to enable them to appropriately address the needs of the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender uh, communities. Uh, 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 there's the six schools uh, we encourage that schools and their boards uh, must ensure the presence of an inclusive curriculum and positive role models. I wrote down a few brief comments just to be prepared because I'm not going to very unprepared and speak off the cuff and be dangerous. So um, I just want to say thank you to Cafes and Co-Pride and all the organizations. Um, this is an event that uh, a year and a half a bit ago I never would have envisioned being at, certainly not being up on stage. Um, so I want to begin by acknowledging my fellow nominees in this category and expressing my delight having been included in your company, Tina Nowen, uh, Dr. Marissa Rodway Norman, and Stephen Lewis, who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, the work that each of you do is important. It's inspiring, it's life saving. <laughs> Don't ever stop. Uh, thanks uh, very much, uh, Hobie. Uh, uh, hello. It's uh, truly, uh, I'm Steve Pagamir. Sunshine City. Uh, it's certainly my pleasure to be here on behalf of the rest of the council and, uh, and for that matter the, the citizens of, of all of Um And I would truly like to recognize the efforts of Verte, Central Pride, and uh, for this event tonight, for the events that we run throughout the year that creates uh, an, at an atmosphere of inclusion and awareness. And, uh, and uh, so thank you very much. I would also like to recognize, if I could, um, it's not just the city. There are a number of things that go on within the city, but uh, really the Soldiers Memorial Hospital is well represented here tonight. And, uh, and yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Memorial was really a city initiative. Ted Eva, who's with me from council today, uh, a few years ago at the board uh, of the hospital, actually moved the forward a motion forward to enshrine in, in hospital legislation and services and rights for uh, the LGBT. Uh, so Ted, thank you, thank you for that. The, um, the other initiative that we we, uh, we started something a few years ago to make our community a little happier, a little healthier. It's called the Sunshine Initiative. One of the initiatives that came out of that was uh, as a creation and an advertising of the marketing of safe places, but really, uh, which I believe Apple is as well. So, uh, so um, I would like to just recognize those who brought that forward. Anyway. Uh, I would just like to say to you, Brandon, and to the committee, thank you for installing a more pride uh, within the city building. Thanks very much. So good evening. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Charlene McCulloch, and I'm the commanding officer of the Base Administration Branch at Borden. It is a great honor and a privilege to be here tonight. The real recipient of this award really goes to Sergeant Shannon Vickery, standing beside me. Before I pass the mic over to her, Brendan uh, mentioned that in 2016, Borden raised the pride flag for the first time. At that ceremony, we had eight people attending. Fast forward to 2018, we had over 100 people. Now it is a testament to the work of Sergeant Victory and her team, the Board of Pride Network, for promoting, for promoting our cause, for promoting the network, and getting ourselves out there. So without further ado, Thank 
with you. So I don't know if this is bad luck or not, but I prepared a speech. Uh. So on behalf of the Board of Pride Network, I'd like to first of all thank uh, Vierte Simco Pride for all of their hard work this year. Round of applause for Brandon and his team. in 2016 with the assistance of Fierte Simple Pride. It all began with the Pride flag uh, raising ceremony and the rest is history. Although our main objective is to provide social support to our Canadian Armed Forces members, we also recognize the importance of community involvement. We understand that showing up in uniform once a year for a Pride Parade simply isn't enough. Our network started with three individuals, and we've grown to over 30 LGBT community members and allies. <laughs> this year was busy. Uh, we've had our successes and some failures. Uh, one thing that we're very good at in the Canadian Armed Forces is teamwork. I couldn't accept this award without uh, thanking the people who make the Board of Pride Network a success. I'd like to thank our new defense team champion, Lieutenant Colonel McCullough, for attending with us this evening. She's our uh, network liaison. So basically, um, to the CFB board and base commander, so in civilian terms, that means that she gets things done and fast. Um, <laughs> to Major Menard, this is the second uh, year attending the gala and he loves it, so he came back again this year. Thank you so much for all of your support. And the Board of Pride Network wouldn't be here today if I didn't have such an amazing team. So thank you to my partner, Stacy, uh, my left-hand woman. Um, you, you've been around for all of the events to help support me, uh, to listen to all the Pride talk, uh, and I very much appreciate it, and I love you. Um, for to Carol, thank you so much for your infinite ideas and dedication to each and every event. Uh, I really appreciate it. Corey, you're our shining star. Uh, your passion inspires me. Aviator Mainville, she's new to our, our committee. She's actually our photographer this evening. She's an ally, and we very much appreciate her for coming, so thank you. And finally, Lynette, you've been here since the very beginning. I worked very hard on this committee because of your smile and because your generation will see better results than mine did, because you are you. Thank you.